Did you know that there are so many brands that you can sell on Amazon that are making over $100,000 every single month? And here's the crazy part. You may actually know these brands, but you just might have thought about. So with the right tools, you can actually see the data for yourself. Like this brand right here, Bath & Body Works, selling over $5 million every single month. And you also have Trader Joe's here, for example, and so many more. So in this video, I'm going to show you three step-by-step -step ways as a beginner on how you can use Smart Scout to your advantage and grow your own Amazon FBA business. So let's get started. By the way, if you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. My name is Luster and I've been selling on Amazon FBA since 2021 where I started as a side hustle. Then fast forward now, I do this full time and I've sold over $2 million in total sales. Now here's the reality. A lot of beginners actually run into this and I did myself as well when I first got started is the number one question of what do you sell, right? Because it can get overwhelming. You know, you don't know where to start. There's so many brands out there. What am I looking for exactly? So that's why using Smart Scout right here is going to eliminate all the randomness and we're gonna be using data and information to make the best decision of what to buy to sell at our own Amazon FBA business. So there's no more guessing, no more wasted time. We're just gonna be focusing all our energy to where it actually matters to kind of get the opportunity going, right? So let's get started with part one here. So the, this is the dashboard of Smart Scout here. And in order to get started with simplifying our product research, you know, there's different settings we got here. And you're just gonna to wanna to go to brands, right? To kind of have a starting point. And we're gonna slowly tailor it from here because right from the beginning, you know, you have the popular name brands based on the estimated monthly revenue. Again, what's really cool about Smart Scout is very data driven. So when you are making a decision, it's black and white. You're not guessing anymore. Like, oh, like how many times it sells per month? Is this brand popular? You know, so on and so forth. Everything is in here to make the best decision moving forward. All right. So. In order to simplify things, you're gonna to wanna to use the filters here, right? There's so many different filters here, and I'm just gonna walk you through the basic prospect. And of course, once you start using Smart Scout, you can of course play with it and save the filters that may work best depending on the results, right? But it's super uh, friendly in terms of how to use it because this is how I found success myself when I first got started because I can narrow down regarding, you know, how many product counts there are. Is Amazon in stock great? So if you are getting started, you're going to want to avoid Amazon because Amazon is going to be your biggest competitor. They get the best price because they're so massive, right? So they can buy like thousands, thousands, thousands of products for the lowest price. So you're going to want to put just zero here to get started and that will automatically eliminate Amazon from your searching of the different brand names, okay? So now we still have a pretty good amount of results right here. As you guys can see, we have over 390,000. And what you wanna do next, I like to do, I would say, is estimate monthly sales. And I'm looking for something that I can sell, you know, pretty good amounts because if I'm gonna be putting my effort in there, I wanna make sure it pays off, right? So I wanna do at least 50 sales per month as a minimum and maximum, I'm just gonna leave it open. So go ahead and hit apply and we're gonna narrow down a little bit more of the results, okay? Now, what's cool about this as well is you have different settings that really is, you know, into the detail in terms of average FBA sellers, I'm talking about specifically because the more FBA sellers, meaning there's more competition, right? So what we want is less competition and so meaning less Amazon FBA sellers. So we'd like to stick around, uh, I would say between three to 15. That's a good amount that making sure it's a product that people are already selling and it's not too overcrowded, right? We don't wanna buy something that has, you know, 50 plus sellers because, you know, everyone's fighting for it. Everyone's just gonna be lowering their pricing and stuff like that. So you guys can see right here, hit apply just to make sure. All right, Bath & Body Works is one of the top brands out there that we could sell based on the monthly semi revenue and you can click any of these here and this will pretty much populate so if you want to see the fba sellers on average from least to the most you can do that 
or if you just want to see the most revenue and stuff, you can really play around with it. And that's, you know, the beautiful thing about Smart Scout is data driven at your fingertips. So for example, let's say you are interested in Bath and Body Works. There's one at every plaza you can think of. Uh, so go ahead and just click on that. It's going to open up a new tab. So that way your previous results, if you want to check out more brands, it, they're still there, right? It kind of opens up a new tab, just like, you know, a browser would. So very familiar on how to use it. And you go to under products here and you can see all the different products. Uh, it's listed for Amazon. Then you can pretty much sort there and, you know, work from there, right? Which leads us to part two of the video. So the second way how you can take advantage of Smart Scout here is doing reverse sourcing of the product and actually the storefront itself. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. So continuing to our uh, brand here of Bath and Body Works, these are again, as I mentioned, all the different products. So if you click on this, for example, it'll open up the tab of this product here, right? So this is the product here. And in order to see who is selling it you simply just scroll down right these are all the different sellers right and you can see the monthly revenue estimated whoever you know sells the most who's got the buy box and stuff like that so for example if you want to click on the biggest seller here premier shipping fast you just hit this little magnifying glass and hit details right here and it opens up their store right and you can see all the different offers they have these are all Let's see if we can extend it and make it bigger. The photo. Okay, that should be good. Let's actually focus on the brand itself. Okay, so these are the brands. They got Bath and Body Works, and let's do it by most revenue. Okay, so they sell a lot of Bath and Body Works, and Garmin would be like second right here. Then you got Stanley, Hydro Flask. So, guys, again, doing this storefront reverse, you can actually see and have an idea of what other people are selling, right? So they, it seems like they're selling just strictly popular name and products. You know, you got a Nike here, Hydro Flask. Uh, we already talked about Stanley, right? And if you want to go back to the product itself that we originally looked at, just simply just click on it. So when you click on it, you are back in here and you can do the storefront stocking and check out what other products they are selling, just going through the magnifying, right? Another cool feature is one of my favorite from Smart Scout is their seller map right here. It's just visually appealing and also, you know, you got the data as well to back it up, but it makes it more fun this way, right? And this is one of my favorite ways to find, you know, different storefronts, just inspirations or ideas or even new brands that I had never thought about, which, you know, we may know, right? So let's go ahead and see how you use one of these seller maps here. So I would like to just zoom in. I'm just picking New York, for example. And if you guys can see down here, you have your reseller and private label. Since, you know, majority of you guys were probably going to be reselling name brand products. Let's go ahead and stick to reseller and just eliminate the uh, private label. All right. And you basically just select any of it. You could, you know, stock your local city, your state, wherever you live. But I'm just using New York and New Jersey here, for example. So let's click on top shoes that US. All right, let's see. They sell about 20 million each month. So they're, they're big sellers. Let's go see what brands are they selling that they get that many sales, okay? So these are the brands here, Dream Pairs. Never heard of it, but let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I pull up Dream Pairs here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'd actually like to see what it looks like. Okay, so there are boots. So Dream Pairs is a pair of boots here and it's being, being sold by Top Shoes. And this is, it seems like their brand right here, right? And what I like to do as well is I like to check out, you know, maybe smaller sellers that are in the middle, not too crazy. Cause again, they sell about 28 million a year. Some of the brands might be difficult to purchase because they're just, you know, may have that connection relationship, so on and so forth that I had built throughout the years. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend maybe looking at brands that are a million, two million. So that's, they're still reachable out there. You know, um, they may have only gotten started about, you know, a couple years ago, nothing too crazy. Uh, what about right here? True Modern Electronics. Let's go see what brand they do. Okay. So they got Canon, Fuji, Kodak, all that stuff. It looks like they're just focused on uh, photography and stuff, even though it says electronics, but they're more like photography. So it gives you an idea of the different niches and categories that you may be able to specialize, right? So 
For example, if you are into like beauty and makeup, you could create a specialty on that and maybe stock and look for storefronts that are specifically for those, right? So that way I'll give you ideas of what brands that's already popular and already selling. It really eliminates a lot of the hard work. And this is one of the things that I really focused on when I started getting on Amazon because just like you, I didn't know what to sell, right? There's so many brands out there, so many ideas that I wanted to put my energy and effort into one thing and that's how I had found success because when I first started I was selling you know used textbooks right and I was going to thrift stores like Goodwill other stuff that I couldn't name but I was just scanning one by one and just hopes I was hoping that I would score some item then I tried you know different retail stores like going in person and stuff like that it was like a guessing game you know sometimes I would score a bunch of products sometimes nothing right and it feels like i wasted my time but sitting here at the comfort of my home you could be anywhere as long as you get the internet and a computer you can reverse source and use actual data of what to sell so that way it's just much more efficient it's you know i would say bang for your buck when you are trying to figure out what to sell by the way guys if you've been finding tons of value in this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it really helps out with the youtube algorithm and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about Amazon FBA. So method number three here on how you can take advantage of Smart Scout for your own Amazon FBA business and is going back to the filtering method. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we're back to the brands tab right here. And this is perfect if you want to get into a bit of wholesale or just something that you will know, you know, it's a good brand for the long term. Okay, so let's go back to filter right here. Make sure you're under data, right? And let's do the Amazon stock rate into zero. Okay, as in monthly sales of 100. So we're gonna up it up a little bit. So that way we can just make sure we have velocity, velocity sales, you can buy more, you can sell more. Good for you, right? You can grow more. So let's do that. Uh, average FBA sellers, we're gonna be a little bit more particular here. I would say between five to 10, okay? There you go. And this is important average price. So when I started, I was not familiar with this, but in order to combat the Amazon fees, the shipping and all that stuff, you're going to want to sell uh, products that, you know, at least 20 bucks, right? Because if you want to find a product that is cheap, there's just not much room. You literally have to either get the product for free or 50 cents, 75 cents, and there's not that much profit to squeeze, right? If it's a cheap product. I don't know how those people from China are making money off like a cell phone case or like a USB charger selling for like $3 because Amazon wants their money too with the fees. So I would recommend finding products that's $20 or more, right? Just so that way there's, you know, a bit of profit for you. And it might be a hint here, guys. Bath and Body Works always keep popping up. So that could be a brand that you might want to check out, okay? So let's go ahead and hit apply. All right. Uh, if you want to do a category, you can certainly do that, right? So as I mentioned earlier, the storefront was electronics, but they were into like photography. You can particularly narrow it down. So let's go ahead and let's say we're into team sports. Actually, yeah, let's do team sports. That sounds good. Let's see what brands are out there in terms of team sports. All right, nothing that shows up here. So that's good or maybe not good. <laughs> maybe I think it might be under clothing. Let's do clothing. All right, so good fellow. Oh wow, they even have Uniqlo. Like, I didn't know that. Like, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm actually interested in that. So with Uniqlo, actually doesn't sell that much. Um, I was looking through the page right here and I was like four, five, seven thousand, not that much. But uh, Goodfellow looks decent. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And Goodfellow uh, seems like a Target brand because you can see the Target logo there. So it's probably their own brand there. And let's go look at the products. <clears throat> And guys, more opportunity to play with the filtering here. So this product seems to be the number one selling in terms of this brand right here. It's a crew shirt. So let's go ahead and see where we can find it. All right, so it's on target here for 20 bucks, 
right? $20, this is the black, how much is it selling here? Okay, might have to go see. So it's selling for, I'd say mid thirties here, okay? So a lot of people are selling under 37, 37, 37, right? So it's almost double of what you could buy at Target. So there's definitely opportunities here. Again, guys, I'm just browsing through. Sometimes, I don't know, Target might have a sale, right? You never know. I mean, I think they do sales pretty often. Let's go medium here. So mid thirties as well, right? So almost double depending. For example, if during, you know, Christmas time, oh, not Christmas, yeah, Christmas time or holidays, the price usually goes up a little bit. So maybe you can sell it in the forties and stuff. Again, we're just shooting ideas of possibility out here to see if this brand is even worth selling. And, you know, just want to show you what is possible out there by doing and playing around with smart scout. And guys, you can always even go back to the filters and, you know, play with it. That's the whole point of having them different settings because you're going to want to play smart and sell smart and grow your Amazon FBA business smart and uh, you know why not use smart scout right like avoid the competition avoid a lot of sellers and uh, make your life easy and if you've been watching all the way this part of the video i mean it just shows you that you are really committed and want to start your amazon fba business and the only thing stopping you is the thing that you know already and that is to take action so yeah so yeah, if you want to learn more about Amazon FBA business, make sure you sign up for my newsletter. The link is down below and I will directly give you tips to your inbox. No spam, always unsubscribe anytime. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.